Hi everyone, this is Connie from Connie's Creative Creations. Today I'm taking part in the Easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy Challenge, and we'll get to a little bit more information on that in just a minute. But I wanted to welcome you to my channel. If you are new, I'm so glad you're here. Think about hitting that subscribe button, notification bell, give me a big old thumbs up and a comment if you would like. If you're a returning says subscriber welcome back now let's get into this all right this is a 12 inch wood round i purchased them from amazon i get a package of 12 uh for 12.99 so good deal all right so i am taking um waverly's um, chalk paint in maize and i'm going to completely cover this uh round in this color now I decide at the end that it's not the exact color I want, so I put another color over it. But this helped with the opaqueness to get the full coverage that I wanted. So once this is done then and dried, that's when I decide to change it. And it's a pretty color. It's a beautiful color. It's just not the exact color that I intended this to be. So once it is dry, then I decide to go ahead and get my apple barrel um, color, uh, paint in yellow. Now I am a plaid ambassador and these paints, Waverly, Folk Art, Apple Barrel, Mod Podge, they're all plaid products. Now this is a much uh, sunnier yellow and that's kind of what I was going for. I could have left it and it would have been okay, but I just like this one a little bit better. So once it is, once it is dry, then we're going to move on to the next portion. Now I had gone on my Cricut and I had um, cut out the words hello in white vinyl. And this is Oracle 651 in matte white. So I am just... Uh, weeding this with my weeding tool and this I've gotten really good at weeding I don't usually have any issues anymore occasionally I run into it especially if it's little small writing or something or small details but I use peel and stick for my um, my uh, transfer tape so I am just cutting a piece off of this and I just once I'm done I hook it to my pants a couple of times that defuzzes it so it's not too sticky so I'm just going to take that off of that paper and then we're going to stick the uh, it to the hello and um, I'm burnishing it and then I'm pulling it up making sure it pulls everything up now I'm putting this in the lower quadrant of the lower half of this uh, circle and then just pulling that off and it is good to go now this peel and stick i use quite often over and over and over again until it has no sticky left that way i can use it many many times so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab these lemons that i got from hobby lobby last year and this is a bow i made on ken sarah diy it a few weeks ago i did a bow tutorial on her live you can check that out i will leave the link in the description box and i'm just going to glue that right onto there and then we're going to uh, embellish it with these uh, lemons now they don't have stems and i wanted them on stems so I just grabbed, I always keep these extra stems and leaves, and I'm just going to hook these right on to there. I'm pulling the, the, like the green part of the lemon out. That leaves a hole, so I can just stuff this right into there. And I'm just going to put it in. I'm hooking it in with uh, hot glue, because this isn't going to be on my front door. I have an old door that is in my dining room. It's leaning against the wall, and that's where this is going to be at. So it'll be inside. It won't be outside. So I'm just putting these in here. I don't add any more greenery because it's plenty of greenery. And then I put a little um, jute hanger on the back. 
and then this project is finished. I hope you guys really like this one because I absolutely love it. And then I'm just adding a few other lemons just without the sticks. And I'm gluing down everything. So I hope you guys like this one. So let's get to the next one. All right. Well, actually, let's get on to this information. This is the Easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy. Brenda from Monner's Market is the host. And down in the description box will be the playlist, her uh, description, her link to her channel, as well as some more information about this uh, collaboration. You're not going to want to forget to uh, go to the playlist and check out all the uh, other creators that are amazing. Okay, so these are two little houses. They were in the uh, Dollar Tree um, wood. They were um, part of the nautical. Well, I'm taking those off and I'm just turning them over. I'm going to use my heat gun after I sand the edges. They're kind of rough. Using my little ladybug uh, vacuum cleaner. And I'm using my heat gun and I'm just pulling off these uh, uh, stickers. And they come off fairly easy. They do leave a little bit of a residue on there. And I'm going to sand that a little bit. Um, but mainly I'm just going to paint over these. Well, the one I paint, the one I don't. What I'm going to do is use this material. Uh, the, I'm using Mod Podge to hook it on. Now, this is a Buffalo check, black and white. I purchased, it was from a shirt that I purchased. I've just used up the material. Um, it wasn't quite big enough, so you see where I patch a piece in. When I'm done, you can't tell. I lined up all of the uh, lines perfectly. So once it is on there, you cannot tell that it is a patch. And once I put Mod Podge on the bottom, put Mod Podge over the top, and then I'm able to trim the fabric without any issues at all. And I use my um, X-Acto knife to cut it. Now this one, I decided that you would see the darkness underneath. And so I grabbed my um, white Adirondack from Folk Art and I paint it first. And this was a placemat from the Dollar Tree. Um, I love this material. Uh, I got one of these last year and loved it. So here I am just going to paint this and get it all so that it's opaque so you don't see any dark color coming through. The black and white, it didn't matter, but this is because there's so much white, it makes a big, big difference. So I am just drying this, and then I'm going to use Mod Podge, and I'm going to hook this uh, part of this placemat right on there. So I'm just putting the Mod Podge, and this is, um, I think this is the mat that I'm using on on this no it yeah it is the mat so i'm just putting it underneath and over the top and sitting it aside and letting it dry now um it doesn't mount punch doesn't take very long to dry especially if you use a heat gun on it so i am just getting this all done and then all dried and then we'll move on to the next um section of this here I am just cutting it, and I've got one of those little uh, mats from the Dollar Tree to use for cutting things. I figured this was small, it wouldn't matter, wouldn't have to get my large one out. So I am just, um, and this is a self-healing mat, so I'm just getting this all cut and making sure that it is looks nice and crisp and clean around the edges use a little bit of a sandpaper, a sand, sanding blocks from the Dollar Tree to make sure. And then I'm just getting this all um, cut off of there and make sure that it looks nice and crisp, clean cuts. And then after this is done, I am going to grab some ribbon. And the ribbon is going to be a yellow sheer from uh, Dollar Tree. And then the other is a Buffalo check from Walmart. And um, I'm just going to get these on. I'm just going to uh, tie them around and tie a bow. 
and then this project will be done and this actually this is a yellow sorry it's not the sheer it's from uh, Sam's Club it's like a yellow check um, and I'm just putting it around there and tying a bow and calling this good so very very simple easy uh, projects but with a high impact so yeah it's just a shoestring bow and that is all I'm going to do on these, this project. And then I'm going to move to the next one. And here's the final reveal, and I hope you guys like it, because I sure do. Now, this is um, the stickers that came from the Dollar Tree. They're like the package of the fruit ones, and they have these little uh, slices. You could make them into orange slices, lemon slices, lime slices, grapefruit slices, but we're going lemon, because this is the lemon, peasy, lemon squeezy easy peasy. So... I'm just coloring in the white um, in between each one of the slices, and then I'm going to do yellow, and I'm doing that on two of these slices, and what we're making is a garland, so I definitely want to uh, make it look like actual lemons. Once I finish up this, and I did use white and um, white, apple barrel white and apple barrel yellow, and now I pulled up my beads, and I'm actually going to end up using the square beads from the Dollar Tree and some round beads from BB Craft, and I'm going to make a garland, and I used a darning needle, and I um, I'm using the baker's twine in the yellow and white from the dollar tree and i'm just going to i glued one end in between those two lemons and now i'm putting this the beads on and um this baker's twine and then i'm going to make a, a tassel with the baker tw baker's twine on the end
as you can see I'm just finishing up this little tassel and I hope you guys like these projects remember don't forget to check out the playlist and all of the creators and their videos also I wanted to this was new to uh, YouTube they're now doing a, su a super thanks for uh, creators and you can go down below and click on this and you can like it's like buying me a coffee or buying me a treat or a donut or something so that helps my channel grow helps me be able to buy more supplies which I like to buy a lot of so I hope you guys really enjoyed these three projects I really loved them and I hope you guys have a great day call somebody today and tell them you love them because it might be the exact thing they need to hear as well as you guys all have a most blessed day and please don't forget to be the bible that somebody reads today bye